Greetings children. Welcome to the online classes. This is Aishwarya. Please like and subscribe the channel for the further updated videos. The following video is for class 6, subject general science, chapter 11, light, shadow and reflections, part 2. Part 1 of this lesson, we learned what are luminous objects, what are transparent, translucent and opaque object and we did some activities, right? So let's continue with activity 3 from page number 108. This is an activity that you will have to do it in the dark. In the evening, go out in the open ground with few friends. Take a torch and a large sheet of car cardboard with you. Hold the torch close to the ground and shine it upwards so that it the its light falls on your friend's face. You now have a source of light that is falling on an opaque object. If there were no trees, buildings or any object, other objects behind your friend, would you see the shadow of your friend's head? This, uh, this does not mean that there is no shadow. After all, the light from the torch is not able to pass through his body to the other side. Now ask another friend to hold the cardboard sheet behind your friend. Is the shadow now seen on the car cardboard sheet? Thus, the shadow can be seen only on the screen. The ground, walls of the roof, walls of the room, a building or other such surfaces act as screen for the shadow you observe in everyday life. You should have a proper screen in the background so you can see the shadow formation properly. Shadows give us some information about the shape of the object. Sometimes shadow can also mislead us about the shape of the object. Now in the uh, figure 11.4 are a very few shadows that we can create with our hands and make believe that they are shadows of different animals. Okay. There is an activity, page number 109, activity 4. Place a chair in the school ground on the sunny day. What do you observe from the shadow of the chair? Does the shadow give an accurate picture of the shape of the chair? If the chair is turned around a little, how does the shape of the shadow changes? It changes, right? If you change the shape, position of the chair, it changes the shape also. Take a thin notebook and look at its shadow. Then take a rectangular box and look at its shadow. Do the two seem to have similar shape? Yes, they both in the shadow form will look the same. Take a flower of or other objects of different color and look at their shadow. A red rose and a yellow rose, for instance, do the shadow look different in color when the colors of the objects are different? No. Right? Take a long box and look at its shadow on the ground. When you move the box around, you may see that the size of the shadow changes. When is the shadow of the box the shortest? When the long side of the box is pointed towards the sun or when the short side of the is pointed towards the sun. Let us use this long box to prepare a simple camera. A pinhole camera. You might think that we need a lot of stuff to make a camera. Not really. If we just wish to make a simple pinhole camera. Now that brings us to activity 5. Take two boxes of the cardboard such that one can slide into another with no gaps in between them. Cut open one side of the each box. On the opposite face of the larger box, make a small hole in the middle. Like shown in the picture A. Okay, and the below of your textbook and in on your screen also it is shown. In the smaller box, cut out the middle, uh, cut out from the middle a square with the side of about 5 to 6 centimeters. Cover this open square in the box with the tracing paper or the translucent screen. Slide the smaller box inside the larger one with the hole in such a way that the side with the tracing paper is inside. Your pinhole camera is ready for use. Holding the pinhole camera through the open face of the smaller box, you should Use a piece of black cloth to cover your head and the pinhole camera. 
Now try to look at some distant object like a tree or a building through the pinhole camera. Make sure that the objects you wish to look at through your pinhole camera are in bright sunshine. Move the smaller box forward or backward till you get a picture on the tracing paper. Pasted on the other side. Are the pinhole images different from this their shadow? One uh, thing I want to tell you is never ever look directly at the sun. Okay, it's very harmful for your eyes, which we will uh, continue in the next class. Okay, are these pinhole images different from the shadow? Look through your pinhole camera at the vehicle and people moving on the road in the bright sunlight. Do the pictures seen in the camera show the color of the object on the other side? Are the images erect or upside down? Surprise, surprise. It will be upside down. Let us now imagine the sun with our pinhole camera. Don't uh, image the sun. Please don't look at the sun directly. Okay. We need a slightly different setup for this. We just need a large sheet of cardboard with a small pinhole in the middle. Hold the sheet up in the sun and let the shadow fall on the clear area sun in the middle of the shadow of the cardboard sheet look at the, these pinhole images of the sun when an eclipse is visible from your location adjust your pinhole and screen to get a clear image before the eclipse is to occur look at the image as the eclipse begin you will notice a part of the image of the sun gradually becomes darker as the eclipse start never look ever look directly at the sun that could be extremely harmful for our eyes you might even lose your eyes okay so uh, i'll stop till here and the remaining part from page number 111 we'll complete it in the next class so stay at home stay safe take care of yourself keep learning children and happy new year Thank you.